mistakes. Everything I make gonna be great. <laughs> Welcome, Lance, Lance, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got a show to do. Uh, Welcome to Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Uh, we won, apparently. Yeah. Uh, big energy. It is, uh, it is Thanksgiving Eve, and my man Eddie George is in the house, of course. Yeah. Now you're always excited this time of year. He's been oh. talking to me off camera before the show starts about his turkey. In the brine. Yeah, it's in the brine. The The process started uh, Sunday night. Yeah. That I put it in the brine, and then I'll take it out tonight and inject them with an injectable marinade, which is made from scratch. I got my stuffing together, or stuffing or dressing. What do y'all call it? Dressing. 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 We're in yeah, the south. In the south. Yeah. yeah, we're in the south. So it's dressing. Uh -huh. So I prepared that before I got here, so I'm really excited about that. Add a, a new ingredient into it, so we'll see how, how it plays off. This I'm week. convinced uh, after uh, four seasons on this show with Eddie, he's working on his own cooking show. Yeah. Uh, but that's for another time. Right now, cooking with uh, EG. Cooking with EG. All right, let's get cooking with EG. Let's kick off the show and do uh, four downs with Eddie. Uh, and let's talk about this game, this uh, this big uh, can of uh, butt whooping that we put on Jacksonville. All right, yeah. so first down, offense explodes mm. offense explodes finally right this is what we wanted to see oh yeah we've been wanting to see it all all season long yeah i mean they had uh, cleveland was a good game but this of one course. was the most points they scored offensively, offensively speaking yeah. 42 points they looked the part offensive line only allowed one sack yep no penalties yeah. taylor the one so big shout out yeah to taylor the one he held his poise very nice uh you showed me a clip of getting him getting hit on the side he yeah. responds so he's channeling his energy in the right direction yeah and it was just like really a physical beat down up front in the trenches. And Ryan Tannehill, goodness gracious, he was fantastic. Woo man, man, he is sacrificing himself. Sacrificed his body, playing with a lot of intensity, uh, intensity yeah. moxie. He's just been playing out of this world right now. He really, really yeah. is. I mean, I, I just, I, he's been that spark. Mm -hmm. you know, that they were talking about they wanted. Uh, it was a fun game to watch. And, of course, uh, second down, you know, we talk about this offense exploding. We're burying the lead a little bit. Derrick Henry Man. and his dominance. Man. Uh, wow. Yeah. Listen. Hey, he's been on fire. Going back to last, he is a beast. In 16 games, he's the number one running back in the NFL. Yes, it's over 1,600 yards, yeah. 18 yeah. touchdowns last. So when you talk about crown him, you crown him as the king yeah. of running backs in the NFL, and they should crown him as the highest paid running back. Okay. In my okay. opinion. Yeah, right. After this season, because yeah. he is the face of the franchise. He is... The, mo the best player on offense for them. They, they, they feed off of his energy. Yeah. And when he gets in the open, he's lethal. I mean, he yeah. is a deadly combination of speed, power, yeah. uh, finesse. He, he's taking his game to another level. And nobody, I mean, that's high praise coming from you, sir, because yeah. nobody knows that position the way oh. you, I mean, the way he's playing it like you did. Uh, we talked about this, though, last week on the show. We had said, what are the keys to victory? Uh, and what did we say? We said, play action early. What's mm -hmm. the first offensive play of the game? Everybody followed Derrick Henry, who mm -hmm. didn't touch the ball, and it was a bootleg. They yep. got 20 yards, and the bootleg worked again because everybody's following it. So mm -hmm. even if he's not touching the ball, his presence is felt on the field. Yeah, he's affecting the game, and yeah. that's what you want. That's yeah. when you know he's been effective. He, I mean, early in his career, he was criticized that he was tentative. He mm -hmm. wasn't uh, hitting it up in there, mm -hmm. but he's somehow or another, he's found a way to yeah. uh, impose his will early. Mm -hmm. He's a, a factor, and guys have to account for him. I believe he that was after your conversation with him. Oh. Uh, I, I mean, you know, let's just say, I mean, this is what happened. I mean, it might have been the dressing, though. It, okay. been the dressing. it might have been, might have been. All right. Well, uh, also a big part of, uh, of this uh, game and this all season long, uh, the defense, once again, 
again, a uh, holding under 20 points. They contained where they needed to shut down where they needed to. Uh, they were especially effective on third down. Jacksonville 7 of 18, 7 of 18. Harold Landry continuing his sack streak there, uh, getting hungry on that D line. And, and this defense does not get enough credit nationally speaking. Mm -mm. They've been right. solid all year long. All Granted, year. They've lost. Yeah. They've lost some games. True. But for the most part, they've held. They've been the backbone of this team. They've mm -hmm. been the backbone of, of their uh, of the offense mm -hmm. in terms of supporting the offense. Yeah. yeah. Um, the secondary has been outstanding. Yeah. And I think they're only going to get better as the season goes on. They're, they're, we're, we're, we're peaking at the right time. Really are. Yeah. are hitting on all cylinders offensively and certainly deep and playing so well as a unit as a team mm -hmm. uh, you can see with Jarrell Casey out and with Jarrell Casey in the difference he makes and how these guys work together but uh, it was really great to see Jayon Brown inside linebacker yes. number 55 he had 15 tackles in this game <laughs> yeah we need some Jayon Brown uh, in this mix constantly yeah we're talking about guys team football mm -hmm. defensive team Jalen Brown you got yeah. um, uh, uh, the cornerback Logan uh, Ryan Logan playing Ryan's the slot. Playing the yeah, slot. slot corner. I mean, yeah. just guys stepping up from each and every level of mm -hmm. the defense, and they, 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 you could tell that they love each other. They mm -hmm. play for one another, mm -hmm. and they're gelling really beautifully as a unit defensively. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. underrated and mm -hmm. not appreciated nationally in terms of this defense, and. Hopefully they win this week. They'll start to see yeah. just how good this Titans defense really is. Well, the defense has been stable all season long, mm -hmm. uh, but offensively, I've uh, been putting it together, putting it together, coming together at the right time, yes. but uh, fourth down here, spreading the wealth. I think this is an interesting stat here. Uh, with the Dennis Kelly touchdown, which we'll talk about, with the Dennis Kelly touchdown, uh, mm -hmm. that's 10 different players that we've distributed touchdowns to. That's second in the league. So we are mm -hmm. truly spreading the wealth. Uh, and in this game, Michael Pruitt had a had a, a touchdown tight end. Michael Pruitt had a touch or not touchdown, but had a reception for 20 yards. Mm -hmm. That was the only reception by a tight end in this game, and that's strange for the Titans to have one yeah, reception they, by a tight end. Usually, the tight end is the main focal point of the offense in terms of the passing attack. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, AJ Brown. AJ yeah. Brown. Hey. Right. Hey. Yeah. Listen, yeah. We, we talk about another beast. Yeah. He is an emerging superstar in this league. When he gets yeah. the rock, run after catch, the boy's bad. He's Rookie a bad is. boy. He can, he's got the jets. He's got the size. He's got the speed. And he's got the, the, the tenacity. I mean, that's what you want to see. He he's wants very to be physical great. physical receiver. Yes, he yeah, does. Yeah, he wants to be great. And you see him at the practice doing all the little things, and it's paying off. I mean, it's paying dividends. Since we're talking about wealth, it's paying dividends. Yeah. All this hard work that he's, that he's uh, put in. So, you talk about his game, 64 yards, 11, 81, 135 yeah. last week. And he's only going to get more and more comfortable as the season goes along. Mix it up. I think we've got a lot of weapons, though, and I think yeah. we're giving defenses fits because it isn't just A.J. or it isn't just Henry or it isn't just – Johnny Smith. Johnny Smith, exactly. Did you see him on the reverse? Yeah. How, yeah. With, quick, quick. Quick. Man, his run skills are – yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this offense. Yeah, I'm telling you, though. But, uh, but keep Dennis Kelly uh, in your fantasy lineup. All right. Uh, listen, we got a lot more Titans to talk about. we got Thanksgiving to talk about. Yeah. Uh, but do stick around. Listen, you know uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we go to break with our Geico Fast 15. But stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. <laughs> Tannehill rolling right, 15, Tannehill 10, Tannehill 5, Tannehill in zone, touchdown Titans! Where are my pom-poms? Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. We are excited to be here. It is now halftime here on the show. We'll take a break from the X's and O's. Yes, tighten up. Uh, Eddie, I got a question for you. What you got? All right, since we're breaking down the football talk for a second, mm -hmm. uh, would you rather be constantly tired Ooh. or constantly hungry? Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> constantly tired. Constantly tired. Because I'm constantly tired already. Oh, already. <laughs> Hardworking man. I that makes that. sense. All I right. can eat. I can eat always. Right. I would rather be constantly hungry, though I would have no friends because daddy's <laughs> angry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. if you're hungry, you got to drive for something. My man Jay said that. Yeah. But if you're hungry, you're going to be mad. I, you know, I don't want to. I don't like you. Don't be mad. mad. No. Nah, All right. Tired. Be, well, let's see tired. what our Titans had to say. A nap on this this one. week's uh, Titans 411, powered by Snickers. <laughs> oh. 
such a miserable question. Well, I like food a lot, so if I, if I feel hungry, then I'd want to just keep eating. Uh, yeah, I'll go hungry. I don't, I, don't like, I don't like feeling tired, so I'll go hungry. Constantly hungry, no matter how much food I eat. I can't be constantly tired. I'd rather be constantly hungry. Oh, man, I say constantly hungry, no matter how much food I eat. I would say constantly hungry, no matter how much food you eat. Just because you can eat all the food you want, and obviously you must have got a great metabolism, you're burning that fat off. So, you know, you can just constantly eat. And as long as you stay hungry, you just keep on eating. I'd rather be constantly tired. Uh, I think a hunger feeling is a lot worse than being just tired. So I'd rather be constantly tired. Ooh, hungry all the time. Get in my belly! in a hard place, powered by Snickers. Okay. There you go. See, everybody's constantly hungry. Constantly these, hungry. Are, these athletes, though, I mean, they're hungry all the time, right? You weren't you hungry when you played? I was time? always hungry. Always hungry. Yeah. yeah. But that's why I'm tired, tired now. now. Yeah, I'm tired now. <laughs> All right, well, uh, moving on to something that, that is uh, very cool, very special, and very near and dear to your mm -hmm. heart. Talk about this uh, cigars, cocktails, and conversation you got going on. Yes, yeah, cigars, cocktails, and conversation. With? With Earl Campbell, my childhood wow. hero. Also, wow. Also was nominated as one of the great running backs of all time. Of all time, yes. Uh, have a chance to sit and hear uh, us talk and banter. I've known Earl for well over 20 years since mm -hmm. I won the Heisman and, of course, been with the franchise. But he was an idol of mine growing up. And it, it, it's not often you'll have a chance to get to know the man behind mm -hmm. the mask. And that's what we're here to do is to show that, show our, who we are as men, as athletes, as husbands, as fathers, as men that made the transition after the game. Mm -hmm. You know, my father and I would sit up uh, a yeah. Monday night football just to watch the highlights wow. of Earl Campbell together. So when, when you're in a moment like this, granted it's coming up, but mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, you've met the man before, but do you get to just be a fan? I mean, because That's you get to go back is. to yeah, that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, every time I'm around Earl, I tell him, they said, oh, Eddie, shut up. You know, <laughs> in that deep Texas voice, like he sounds like he has tobacco in his mouth already, <laughs> barbecue sauce in his back pocket. <laughs> You know, I mean, man, he has his own sausage. So yeah. he's going to talk about all that. So ladies out there, if you want to get your husband a wonderful gift, Let's check you have it a out chance again. to get it uh, for him at a great discount. That you're going to, it's a perfect time to get it for him for a Christmas gift. It's a wonderful That's time. That's great. Yes. Uh, and a portion yes. of the portion of the net proceeds uh, go to charities, your charities, yes. by community the uh, Foundation. Community Foundation of yes. Middle Tennessee. That's yes. very cool. So look for that. And you've got more of these coming. More of these coming uh, quarterly. So we're going to try to mix it up, bring in some different athletes from yeah. different backgrounds and maybe an actor. Yeah, but, but so you we'll and see. Earl Campbell, that's got to be yeah. special. So hopefully you'll be there too. I'm, all right, all right. I'm, I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to hold you to it. All right. <laughs> got to take another break right now. We've got more uh, Titans Blitz on the other side, including the keys to victory against the Colts. So stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. It is another two-minute warning here on the show. And we have our second straight divisional game coming up. We got a yeah. big win on the Jacksonville game. Going up to Indy, got to take care of business. And, and I get a sense from this crowd, from the city, from you, from my parents, we can do this. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. So, yes. so let's talk about how we no do choice. this. Uh, first key, look, they have one of the best offensive lines mm -hmm. in the game, no question. Control the line of scrimmage. Control that offensive line. How do we do that? The game <laughs> is going to be won in the trenches. In the trenches. The one who lot, establishes themselves in the trenches will win this ball game. Okay. And, and for uh, the last few times we played the Colts, uh, they dominated the line of scrimmage, which means they dominate mm -hmm. the time of possession. Mm -hmm. They're able to control the clock by running the football, play action, and mm -hmm. so forth. So given where we are defensively, mm -hmm. understanding that, they know it's going to be a fist fight. It's going to be iron fist. Yeah. They've got to eat iron fist all night long. Yeah. So that's got to be the mindset going into this game defensively speaking, going against the offensive line. They uh, run, uh, and now Marlon Mack is, uh, is injured, uh, mm -hmm. but they still put up 144 yards yeah. rushing a game, so we've got to clamp down on that. Down on that. Uh, next up, uh, pressure reset. Got to get back there. Now, he's a guy, I know he's not Andrew Luck. 
I know he's not even Ben Roethlisberger, but he's a guy, Jacoby Brissett, that that we he just he finds ways to get rid of the ball. He's sneaky yeah. good. He's sneaky good. He is sneaky good. He, he might throw for 170 yards. Right. And he you're like, games. Right. You're yeah. like, okay, how is this guy doing this? Yeah. I mean, he makes great decisions. Um, he finds his receivers when he's in trouble. Mm -hmm. And, and I've, I've been a fan, honestly, yeah. of Brissett when he was in college and certainly when he got drafted. But we got to get to him just like that. We've yeah. got to be able to make him uncomfortable in the pocket. We got to make him. Uh, we got to win on first and second down, yeah. keeping him third and long situations, right. because he's not the type that's going to run. Yeah. He's going to beat you with his legs consistently. So we got to keep him in the pocket, get pressure on him, yeah. and uh, and win on uh, first and second down. Now. The, the Colts beat the Chiefs in a low-scoring game. Mm -hmm. We beat the Chiefs in a high-scoring game. So it was much different. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. we can still celebrate beating the Chiefs all the time. Uh -huh. Much different uh, sort of process here. The, the third key, control time of possession. How do we beat the Colts like the Colts beat the Chiefs? How do we run this ball effectively against this team? There was a clip of Mike Brabel going to Derrick Henry and saying, mm -hmm. yeah. take over the game. Yeah. Okay, right. That simple. Yeah. Derrick Henry, take over the game. This is your time. Uh -huh. It's Thanksgiving. It's cold. It's November. <laughs> it's playoff football. Right. The run game has to dominate. Right. King Henry, put on your crown and take over. End of story. That's yeah. where it has to come down so to. It's, it's, we're putting it on his shoulders once put again. On his, yeah, yeah. It, quick story. The same thing that Jeff Fisher said to me in the playoff game. We played the Colts up there yeah. in 1999. Says, this remember. is why we drafted you. And I went out there and put up, you know, 169 or whatever it yeah. was. We wound up winning the game. So high stepping up the middle. High I stepping remember. up the middle. Yeah. 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 So this is the, his moment where he has to take over the game from start to finish. Is so, that, is yeah, that what Jeff Fisher really said to you? Oh, yeah, he This did. is why we drafted you. This is why we drafted you right before we went out there. What do you I feel said, when a coach says that? No pressure. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no pressure. I, no, actually, th there was no pressure. I was excited. Yeah. I was like, give me the rock, give me the rock. That was my moment. Yeah. So I think this is his time uh, for Derrick Henry at this point in time. You know, that mentality, give me the rock, I think it's taken a while for him, but it's clicked for him, and I, I think he wants it. I oh, think he, he I tastes think he wants it, man. Yeah. Oh, as you can see him, he, yeah. he, his confidence is growing each and every week. And, and, yeah. and, and you know, I, I think this is his moment now. He can really uh, put a stake to say, hey, I'm here to stay. I want to be a Titan forever, mm -hmm. um, and he's he's in my opinion one of the best running backs, if not the best running back in the, in the, uh, right now. In the league right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. All right, we got more Titans blitz on the other side. I got a question for you. Stick around. We will be right back. <laughs> Presented by Farm Your Health Plans. I hear a Smith, 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 Eddie. Hey, it's overtime. Uh, time for our Winnie's Hot Take of the Week. Uh, Eddie, I got a question for you. What's that, bro? When you beat a team as bad as we did against mm. Jacksonville and seem to do it often, minus yeah. the hiccup early in the season, what does it mean to be kryptonite? In the heads of the other team, what does it mean? And you've played against Jacksonville. You've done this very same thing against this team. I yeah, well, Jacksonville in 99 had the best record in all mm -hmm. of pro football. Right. Lost, had three losses, and all three of them was to, to was us. Was to us. That's right. And, and, you know, we went down there, we went down there uh, to play them in the AFC Championship game. And they went up on us. They were really hyped. They were, but then all of a sudden, it started to unravel. Uh -huh. We started making plays, and uh -huh. you can start to see the panic uh -huh. on their faces. And the great Fred Taylor, and uh -huh. he's making plays, but then he's not. Uh -huh. And then Brunel's throwing interceptions. Samari rolls Samari in the back, rolls in the back, in the back of the back. Right. Yeah, yeah. Derek Mason scores. And Steven, right. So it it, it 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 just it feels good when you can see the panic begin to settle on their faces. Like, oh, we're coming. Yeah. You made your plays early. Yeah. We weathered the storm, but. Yeah. It's starting to unravel now. That's what happened in this game. Right. It was 7-3 at the half, and then, ooh, 42-20 to 20 in the end. Yeah. Right. That was a beatdown. It was fun to watch. Uh, man, I really enjoyed it. we got to keep this thing going. I think this is just crazy momentum. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys saw this on uh, a Wikipedia. <laughs> You see, if you go to Wikipedia, it gives you all the information. Here's Jacksonville Jaguars Wikipedia page. And if you look, it says, owners, Derrick Henry. So, <laughs> bravo. <laughs> bravo to uh, whoever pulled that off. 
That might have been well, you, right? Well played. <laughs> Twisting my mustache. <laughs> Twisting my mustache. Uh, I just want to say on behalf of the Titans, happy Thanksgiving yes. from all of us to you. Happy yes. Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving to you, sir. Bless this you, is a pleasure yes. to do with you. Uh, man, got to do it again next week. Celebrate Absolutely. this Colts victory, yeah. right? Yeah. We got to take down the Colts. The playoffs are coming, and it starts this Sunday. I love it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. We will see